In this video, I'll be setting up a Raspberry Pi compute module for to boot from an SD card with its root file system on an NVMe drive. Here's the hardware that I'll be using. A Raspberry Pi compute module for I.O. board. A Raspberry Pi compute module for. This is the cheapest version with one gigabyte of RAM, no EMMSC and no wireless. Transcend 110S 128 gigabyte NVMe SSD. This drive has a 1500 megabytes per second read speed and 400 megabytes per second write. The Compute Module 4 has one lane of PCI Express Gen 2, which should be about 500 megabytes per second. A DLock PCI Express X1 to M.2 Key M adapter. and a 32GB SanDisk Extreme SD card. I'll use the Raspberry Pi Imager to write Raspberry Pi OS 32-bit version to the SD card. Now that I have the Compute Module 4 booted to the SD card, the first thing I'll do is install Gparted and partition the NVMe drive. In Gparted, I'll create a partition table for the NVMe drive and then add an ext4 partition taking up the whole drive. We can now mount the NVMe partition. Next, we'll copy the root partition to the NVMe drive and change the kernel command to use the NVMe partition as the root file system. Here I'll copy the part UUID of the NVMe partition. And then change the kernel command line to use this part UUID. Now if we have a look at the logs from the last boot, we can see that there will be a problem if we have the root file system mounted as an NVMe drive. The NVMe kernel module is initialized after the root file system is mounted. So if we rebooted now, there would be issues. So to correct this, I'll use initramfs to load the NVMe kernel module before the root file system is mounted. I'll add the NVMe module here and save. Run this command. And then find which file it has output. Copy this file name. Edit config.txt. And add this line right at the bottom. Now we'll sync the root file system changes again and change the FS tab entry to point to the NVMe drive. Now we can reboot. When rebooted, we are now using the NVMe drive as our root file system. Lastly, we'll do some side by side comparisons of applications launching. Here's GIMP. The win here goes to the NVMe drive. Here's Blender opening. And then once the SD is finished, we'll open the classroom file. And again, the NVMe drive wins. Here's Chrome launching. And 
Photosynthese Webpage Loading.